Hey guys, today I have some team with you and it's a hidden bucket filler. Now I made some bucket filler designs about two weeks ago, but they weren't as fancy as this one and actually this one is a, a remade version of a design I had a year ago, but that broke after some updates. So I decided to completely remake it and now it's a lot better than it was before. But now let me just show the design working because that's what you came here to see. So over here we have a netherrack floor which looks amazing, netherrack is beautiful and everyone wants to have a netherrack floor on their houses. But if you press this button it's not going to look as amazing as before, but it's going to open a hole for you where if you put lava it's going to start for you on this chunk over here. So you can use it as many times as you want and it will keep starting it for you. Just like that, but if you want your beautiful netherrack floor once again, you just have to press the button. And it's going to look amazing! <laughs> so yeah, now if you want you can also use these with water buckets, not on the nether though because uh, lava, sorry, uh, water is going to evaporate on the nether. But you, if you want, you can build also this on the side of a lava lake, just like that, and you have lava for days. Now, a very nice thing that this system has is an uh, overflow protection. <laughs> so, if it detects that the system is going to overflow, uh, the system is going to shut down by itself, uh, just like that. Just like that. And it's going to prevent you from putting more lava buckets on the system and over overflowing it so it doesn't break the system because anyone, no one wants to have a broken system, right? But yeah, now the last thing that the system has, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of features, but the last thing that the system has is if you want to put more buckets on the system so it can keep working, you just have to throw them on the ground right here. So the system is going to pick them up and it's going to use them. But yeah, I think that's basically it. Um, uh, no, yeah, so let's just go with the redstone, shall we? So here's the whole redstone and as you can see it's a very nice system, um, to open and close it you just have to press this button over here and it doesn't even have to be a, a button, it can be any pose, even a one tick pose will work and that's very nice. Now the way the system works is when you open the system this redstone dust over here is going to start powering this dispenser and this dispenser doesn't realize it until you update it by putting uh, lava or water buckets on top of it and because when you do that there will be an uh, empty bucket inside of this dispenser and the dispenser is going to trigger and fill this bucket just like that. Then it's going to make some magic and reset all of the systems so you can use it again as many times as you want. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, now the system is going to store all of the buckets over here on this chest. But when it starts detecting that the system is full, just like that, um, it's going to reset. Actually, it's going to close the system so it will prevent you from overflowing it as I showed before and right now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> And yeah, now it's going to prevent you from overflowing the system, but even if you manage to break the system, you can easily fix it by just placing a, a bucket inside of the dispenser and then closing and opening the system again. And then it's going to be perfectly fine, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, now the buckets are going to be start over here on the dropper and on this hopper. And if you want to refill the system, you can also throw some buckets on top of this minecart hopper and it's going to refill them, refill them just fine. But yeah, I think that's basically it. Uh, I show everything I had to show. So if you want, you can download the, the word in the description right now. And yeah, I think that's basically it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.